You are listening to the Just Saying Podcast. Hey there, thanks for checking out the Just Saying Podcast. This podcast episode was originally posted on March 30th, 2014, and it includes me, my two friends, Mike D'Anizio and Sean Downed Taylor. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. We talked about cartoon series that we watched growing up in the 90s, and Mike and Sean talk about the cartoon series that they were working on about cats on drugs or something. Unfortunately, they're not doing it anymore, which is kind of sad, but you know, things happen. Sean is actually off doing his own thing right now, and uh, hopefully I can talk about what he's doing right now, because it seems pretty interesting. Uh, We'll hear about that soon. If you like these episodes, please like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the social medias. We're very social and very media. Good times, so enjoy. Yeah, so... So how does the intro go? It just... I just, I don't just saying, just saying, just I don't saying. Even know. Yeah. I think you should do something with your what? piano. You're with your piano. Do some sort you of piano. You don't even like say anything. You just do like music. It's a podcast. Sorry. So my name's Michael Didinicio, and I do T-shirts. You do. I do very oh, many yeah. T-shirts, and other articles of clothing I print vinyl and uh, do heat press pictures on them which are fully colored images so I, I do that on the side of my recent job I just got which is at Tees and More which is basically making more t-shirts so my life revolves around making clothes for income then going home and make more clothes for income and then after that put on more clothes before I go to bed and the next day I put on more clothes before I go to work, so my life pretty much revolves around clothes. I'm in and out of them. I'm all over them. You shower in clothes? Yeah, you know, uh, I, I got, I got, actually got this one guy. He uh, specially installed this, this system where all the, all my old clothes I don't want. I just shove them in this big barrel, right? And he just grinds them up. And then whenever I go, <laughs> whenever I get, want to go to shower in clothes, man, I just I go into this. my washer. <laughs> Turn it on, and then it's just like all these beautiful threads come out on me, and then you know, I get entangled with them. It's it's very soothing. I put up some ads for Gigi. I post on Facebook. I'm just small right now. I've I've gotten most orders from close friends. I'm still starting out, but uh, I will be advertising myself soon. But you okay. know, Mike, I thought the teacher industry was sort of saturated, though, man. Because like I see them everywhere. Well, during the summer, there's a big cry. coming up. Coming there's up. a big cry for t-shirts. You see, this, this, cry, this cry is very loud. Customers tanks. come in and out of, of the stores. You should set up on the beach. Ordering thousands of t-shirts, hundreds. Some may even order one. Thousands and hundreds. Some might need only one. Do you make hoodies or are you just <laughs> limited to t-shirts? All, no, they you can do, all they need is one. Only one. One thing. Oh. One t-shirt to rule them all. Predictable joke. Yeah, so you can do hoodies, tank tops, v-necks regular t-shirts, pants, you know, you gotta spend, you gotta spend money, invest money in yourself to make money, and it's hit or miss, but you know, it's always worth a shot, if you don't try it, then the worst thing you can do is not try it, and, and that's what it's all about, right, and go on through life knowing that there might still have been a chance if you did try, right, but, um, good try, deep, you can find that on that motivationalquotes.com, that was as uh, deep as the ocean, sir, how was graphic design school, man? It was alright. Uh, I got. It's hard. I don't know. I can't draw. I've been drawing since I was little, and I never stopped. It's just constantly would draw and draw and draw, and then play video games, and those were a big inspiration to me. When I really got into it was in college. Practiced a lot, got better, got my first digital tablet, and then I was interested in it even more. And now I'm basically just digital. Stick to my tablet. It's a Wacom uh, Intuos 4. And shout, uh, out. Sh- shout out your <laughs> hashtag Wacom into us. Send send this free one. Or if you wanna you wanna reach me for a custom t shirt, ask ask the podcaster host guy right here. Do you here make up your own email. designs at all or is it just what they what, what I they make want? well for my own clothing company I make up my own designs. I'll get all the designs printed, uh, obviously by myself. And then I'll make my website and advertise myself on Kijiji. You know, see how much it costs to invest in maybe ads on the side of Facebook. Uh, maybe add, like little pop-up ads on YouTube <coughs> or something. But yeah, just market myself like crazy. 
ads in the newspaper, magazines. Promoting posts on Facebook. With lo- like locally. Yeah, like seven bucks. And they advertise. Yeah, you know, Facebook. like. You should do that, Dave, seriously. Yeah, like, uh, you know, you spend a couple hundred bucks on advertising yourself, it's potentially, like, worth it. Self marketing. My name's Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just here for for a good time. I'm just here for the ride. Alright, we all. I enjoy uh, listening to uh, Mike talk about his dreams and aspirations. <laughs> it's motivating, you know. And we have Jesse. Yeah. Jesse. 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 I prefer Jess. Jess is good. Hello, I'm oh, Jesse. Okay. Reminds me of Toy Story. Is that her name? Jesse. Yeah. Or Jesse from Team Rocket. So yeah. uh, prepare for <clears throat> trouble. Make it double. That's right. To protect the world from devastation. So, uh, what's this thing I hear about? You know, the big, the big bang theory. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. You know what was a good cartoon back in the day? Pokemon. Yeah, and the new the first season. Pokemon. Yeah. But what do you mean by first, first season, season, though? Because... Uh, the first season as like the first season of the first series, like the first series, like the whole Indigo League kind of thing. The first, yeah, the Indigo League. Yeah, Pokemon's alright, you know. It was fun. Bye, Jesse. I'm not leaving yet. Okay. Jesse, 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 Jesse. It's fun. Jesse, Jesse. Why am I talking about you guys? Feel like kind of like you're holding on to your childhood too much by watching Pokemon. Keep talking to that mouse. It feels like a nostalgia trip for me. But I find nostalgia is not necessarily a. A good thing. They can make you depressed? Because then, yeah, because nostalgia makes you think of the good things, but it also makes you think about the bad things too, right? Because you think about like, oh, I used to watch this when I was younger. What that? Oh, what else happened when I was younger? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I messed with that presentation one time and the teacher made fun of me. Or, oh, man, I, yeah. I think defecated in my drawers in the middle of class or something. <laughs> Throwing up uh, or... If you want to think. Uh, one, one bad memory I have is when I was a kid and back in um, when I was... I had the Pokemon cards. They had, we were like all. Oh yeah! Pokemon okay, here cards. we go. We would trade Pokemon cards. Yes. And they, would, they would convince me that. Yes. <laughs> you know what yes. I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Give me your me that give me Charizard. I'll give you my Weedle. I was that guy, man, and I hated it. Oh. Thinking back, man, I screwed so many people out uh, of like cards. I was like, yeah, man, look at this card. It's so much better. You'll love it." And like, I would just take like their better cards and. Uh, it was terrible. I remember that. Yeah. I hated it. My. Event. My, what am I with, same with me man like this one guy I used to know one day bought this deck I was like save the money for like 20 bucks because like, they were more expensive back then right yeah so I buy this one it's like that, that deck that has Hitmonchan and Mewtwo in it it was like the, the black and blue deck and I get it and I take it back and I get home and I'm looking through it and then this kid's like comes he's like yo let me see it and I'm like he's looking through it then I like look I'm like just looking around and he gives it back and I go home and my Mewtwo's gone oh wow man and oh. He said that he didn't have it, and I was like, oh. I've had, like, my childhood was like, pew, crash and burn. Oh, that was terrible. I know my dad, um, he had a problem with that. Back in the day, it was baseball cards. Oh, yeah. It was right. Pokemon cards back in the day. I remember no, for it. sure. Um, I think one of his friends came to the door and said they left his baseball cards at his house, and I guess his, my, his, my grandmother gave him, uh, the guy at the door, all of my dad's like baseball cards, and like they're worth like so much money today. And like he tried going back to the, his friend's house and being like, "Where's my baseball card?" I was like, "I don't know what you're talking about." Wow, well, really? That's worse, man. I ha- okay. Yeah, that's terrible. I had this. I, I still money. have this giant binder full of hockey cards that my uncle Tony gave to me. Tony, uncle Tony. Hey, Tony. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey my lad. Hey, hey, Tony. I beat it up. I beat it up. Hey, Kevacho. Kevacho. Kifa. Spaghetti, pomodoro, etc. Uh-huh. Uh, lasagna, pasta, prima vera. <laughs> Pesto, <laughs> chicken, uh, parmigiano. E quanto costa? E cinque ore. <laughs> you remember the pizzeria? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the Italians, I could laugh all day. That was the best part of the podcast right here. <laughs> man, the pizzeria. <laughs> I know, we're talking about uh, Pokemon cards. I'm your buddy Tony. Uh, <laughs> you <Yeah, laughs> my buddy Tony. <laughs> Yo, my buddy Tony, yo, he smuggled, <laughs> he, he smuggled these cards, bro, and he put them in, put put in stars for like three years. Tony, I changed his better cards, find our cards, but I prosciutto you've been hanging for that month, Tony. <laughs> he was a slice of prosciutto to get in and out of it. <laughs> it's curing nicely, Tony. It smells like a pig farm in here, Tony, it's great. <laughs> 
But um, yeah, I so I gave Italian. me these cards, and like my parents would get pissed off if I wanted to put a couple of my cards in front of the hockey cards. Like I had some Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Please, please. I had some uh, Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Digimon, and I just wanted to put them like in front of the cards, but for some reason it just wasn't allowed. It was unacceptable, so I would get in trouble for it. Mm. That sucks. Oh, and, that, and that sucks. My talk about Pokemon and stuff, like, this is kind of conversation with people of this age. Maybe yeah. until, like, 26 would be talking about, right? Mm. It's true. I just drank juice. You just drank two juice boxes. That would probably you I'm pack. craving, uh, you ever have, like, high C? That juice, high C? Or, like, a Hawaiian punch? Yep. What was that juice you got All at the comic shop? All about that apple. What was that juice you got at the comic shop the other day? Uh, red tahini, tahini. tahini. Dude, it is so good. It is good, right? But it's like a, it's that, carbonated though. It's so weird. It says like a carbon. It says like pop a dollar hey. American pop a dollar twenty five. Like what is American pop? Hey, it's so carbonated. They call pop soda in America. That's Take like my more, off. more See. Oh. It's a podcast. For sure. It's a podcast. Uh, going back to the Pokemon card thing, I remember back in the day. Welcome to just saying the Pokemon edition. <laughs> what is our Pokemon? The Pokemon's free. And the Pokemon. Pika! <laughs> like, I remember it was like a dollar a card. Like, four quarters in the machine. Yeah, and there's the machine the over there that has them. Yeah. Right across the street. Is Where'd you pull that? Okay, guys. Yeah. Guys. Oh, wow. I buy cards for all the time. I'm only five. All right, listen to this. It's so expensive, though. Why no, would... right? It is expensive. I, I didn't go to the comic book shop and pay a dollar and get 15 cards. But why would you wow. even buy, spend money when you can just go in the store and take the machine? <laughs> right? Like in general, right. right. <laughs> you just take it. Just you just take the whole machine, keep, why not? Keep the money. Like, Haven't the, you ever, like, you know, like, forget about ATMs. There you go, just commit. That's yeah. what we're stealing. I know, right? Perfect. That's well worth going to jail for. Oh, man. Like, I would I would have my Yu-Gi-Oh's cards with me. Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, yeah, those kind of machines just appear and never so see anyone fill them. Because they have proof from the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I want, I want to meet the guy whose job it is to fill trading card machines. He just carries around expensive cards all day. If imagine knowing that guy, you'd have the end. Right? You'd be like, yo, oh, I tell him you got this card. Yeah. The, the, the corner store this owner. jacket? Yeah. Like, what you want? Whatever. Probably a super sketchy DI. The corner store owner was around my house. He actually took, he took out all the rare cards and sold it to us separately. Who oh, did? That's genius. That's I need to, to know this guy. That. I remember that. Yeah. What happened? Like, where do we get these machines? Because I want to buy one. The old uh, corner store owner of mine that we used to go to. Dude, dude. Gotta get ready for work. See I you guys later. Stuff. Take it easy. Bye. Jess is leaving. But yeah, so this this. Which came first, Pokemon Monster Rancher? I'm I'm, I'm just like having Wait, I'm, I'm the... internal struggle. Can I finish? Um, well, <laughs> Pokemon used to be called Pocket Monsters. Pocket Monsters, yeah, yeah. But I'm thinking because like, what are you asking? Like the advent of the advent monster of... training yeah, sort yeah, of yeah, yeah. genre, or yeah, the advent of anime. <laughs> Dude, uh, that just blew my well, Magic of the Gathering came Dude, up for all Dude, that just blew my mind. Poke, pocket Monsters. So they took P O K E and then they took yeah, Monsters L O N and put Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, they did, yeah. They wow. did that. I did, sure. yeah. I did. Wow. It's called the Portmanteau. See? But I mean, I think it's actually a, a, a naturally occurring Japanese word, but. Oh, okay. When you combine two words together like that, it's a portmanteau. Portmanteau? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. That's pretty interesting. Pokemon are not just tools for fighting or a way of making money. And I know, because I plan on becoming a Pokemon master! That was dramatic. That was pathetic! Where do you buy these fifteen dollar or no fifteen cards for a dollar? Come with me, man. If you you have a car, come with me. We'll go buy all the crazy cards you you want, man. They have like crazy selection of cards. And if they have like a selection of cards individually you can buy, you ever wanted to own like you're like, oh man, my pass B person says a little okay, so this is gonna get a little nerdy. But um one of my things I've always wanted, I wanna think I wanna see about it's like twenty five bucks, but is get like a first edition charger, you know. For our generation, remember how important that was to those people who had those training cards? Yeah. Everyone was like, Yo, yeah, that charger, that's crazy. Everyone was, was it the Charizard? I thought it was I remember, Yeah, remember, it was, yeah, it was a Charizard. I, I remember going to like expos. Like in Toronto, uh, at the CNE and stuff, and seeing that at the at, at its height, seventy five bucks, hundred bucks for first edition Charizard, I was like, oh my this card's crazy. I've always wanted one. I remember with the Yu Gi Oh cards, it was the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And I got Black three, Black and now I got three of them. Man. You got three. I spent my entire childhood looking for a Blue Eyes White Dragon, <laughs> and I could never get one from that that damn dollar machine. 
put four quarters in. I'll go show you them right now. Have you ever seen them before? I'll go show you one right now. I've never seen the blue eyes black dragon. Are you serious? Is there's red eyes black dragon? There's so many dragons. Mike has the red eyes black dragon, Mike V. He does. I have a dark magician, like I have the oh, OG dark magician. Dark magician. One, yeah. I just wish, like, when I was a kid, like, I didn't spend so much on Pokemon cards. Then again, they're expensive, like, they're, they're, they're oh, very this valuable is, now. I'm gonna believe mine right now. Oh, yeah, viable if they're, like, in mint condition. Oh, but, mine are, yeah. Um, one time, because, like, on Concession Street in Hamilton, every year in June, I think it usually is the first weekend in June, they have, like, Street Fest. I don't know if you've ever been to, to, to a Concession Street Fest before. Yeah. But, uh, now it's a little bit smaller, but they used to shut it down from, like, East like 16th to like Upper Sherman like it was like a huge thing wow. and there used to be this hobby shop right at the end because I used to live on East 21st um, right by, by concession there used to be a hobby shop right at the end of my street uh, Bayshore Hobbies shout out Bayshore Hobbies it's not closed uh, shout out Rose owner of the store great lady great lady um, she was so cool because like, in the back they had these uh, video game systems like Playstation 1s and N64s yeah, you yeah. could pay like a dollar an hour to go play and like, they had, she had all these games you could just pick a game and go play like the game for an hour or whatever that's really cool did anyone steal anything? no because they're like attached to the thing and oh, like, that's a good idea and it was like an honor system and she didn't care but like, anyway she sold cards and stuff like that but every street fest they would have like a, a stall outside and one year she was selling Pokemon past Pokemon cards for a dollar each Really? And yo, I went crazy. Me and uh, Mike's brother, Steph, and we were like hounding our parents for money. We were like, yo, give me all the dollars you want. We were like searching our couches. We were like asking to do favors and stuff to get money because we were just buying all these cards. What year was this? Was this like back in the day? It was like, I would have to be like, it was before high school, so grade seven or eight, so like 2003, 2004, 2002, oh, okay. around then. Because I know like, the Pokemon came out in 96. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would be like a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit, maybe two thousand one, but because uh, it was still like Tentacruel still. Because I, I remember I got a like, Hollow Tentacruel and I was like, this is awesome. That's pretty awesome. Then some kids stole it. Was in a car stole it? No. That's pretty Tentacruel of them. Yeah. Ooh. 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 He turned me into a tent of fool. Yo, tent of yo, yo, yo. At night I tend to drool. Oh. Um, that, that was my latest cert cut. Do you, remember, do you remember the trainer cards? What were those for? Like this, the, the potions and the the energy cards. I remember those for battling, man. That was for battling. I never, I never knew right. that for battling. So there was two groups of people. There was those who played the game and those who just played the cards. That was me. <laughs> and the game was so confusing because the game is sort of like magic, magic oh. gathering with like energy instead of land and etc. And you still counters because you thought those like counters. Because I don't know if you ever bought like a, a starter deck or anything like that. I never buy. I just bought them all dollar each. Oh, are you kidding me? That was just like a whole collection. You're crazy, man. I never knew of these. Books. But I bought Starter Decks. And when in the Starter Decks, you would get a whole bunch of energy cards. And then you get a bunch of these, like, little counters, these little, like, beads that oh, you would yeah, use for yeah. the game and stuff. And then you get, like, a, a map, like, a, a game mat or whatever. I never got into the game. I got into Yu-Gi-Oh! because it's, uh, it's different. And uh, I think that the art's cooler. It's a podcast! I think it went, uh, Pokemon came out, everyone went crazy over it, then Digimon, oh, was it Digimon that came next? Digimon, yes. Digimon came next, then it Well, came there's a whole bunch of them, I mean, these are the ones that came to America. Monster Ranch, when did Monster Ranch oh, come out? Dude. Ranger bring a Monster Ranger, because, man, that show was so wicked, and, like, it was one of those shows where... It was so mysterious all the time, you know what I mean? I never knew, like, I never knew why these monsters were in their discs. I never understood, like, who was putting them in these places. And it never really told you. It was like, we don't need, we don't need to, we don't, you know, don't need to tell you. All we need to tell you is we have to face a guy, a bad guy named Moo. That was his name, Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Moo! We should, we which should, is wolf named Blue. That we like, should show us sick. We should watch it all over again. Do you, I don't remember any, any of their names. I remember, like, the, there was, like, the, the yellow eyeball. Yeah. The pink weird thing that was, like, cherry blossoms. No, the rabbit with the big The fist. rabbit with the fist, man. Then that rock thing. Oh, the rock golden guy. That show's oh, whack, eh? We had so and many good shows you... back then. 90s. Well, man. everything's it's better in retrospect, 90s. though, right? Everything's better in, in retrospect. I mean, yeah, that's true. Like, what's on TV nowadays? All it is is just pregnant. That's what you girls. think, but the, it, it, it isn't, though, man. Yeah, but what cartoons are Adventure it's Time, about. man. Oh, yeah, regular man. show. Rick and Morty. Man, Rick and Morty is amazing. Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb. Shaw, and Ferb. Fancy Fur, the guy who created Fancy Fur was one of the writers from Family Guy. Really? And really? Let, listen to this. Uh, three of the guys, so three people. One guy created, the guy who created uh, Fairly Odd Parents. 
the guy who created Fans of Forever and the guy who has Seth MacFarlane who created Family Guy all worked on Johnny Bravo you remember Johnny, Johnny Bravo Johnny Bravo's great they were all writers for Johnny Bravo wow. and they went on to make these fun, all these shows that's amazing I never knew that yeah so my mind is blown that's where we could start dude there's cats everywhere that's what I'm saying. Everyone starts out so small. Like, I don't know if you guys follow comedians, but like Louis C.K. or uh, mm-hmm. he used to be a writer for Conan, the Conan O'Brien show. And Conan used to be a writer for The Simpsons. Yeah, I remember That's that. amazing. Oh, yeah, Conan was about. Oh. My favorite episodes were written by Conan, like uh, Mars vs. the Modern Rail and uh, Bart Gets Famous and Homer Goes to College. I'm sorry, my, my mind's getting blown right now. But that's also like making a cartoon it. because cartoons are such a big part of my childhood. Yeah, I know. Such a big part of my life. I used to spend so much time, like Bugs Bunny used to watch Bugs Bunny so every yeah. single morning. Looney Tunes. Used to watch a hour of Bugs Bunny every morning. Did to the point where I've seen every single Bugs Tiny Bunny. Tiny Tunes. Did you guys watch Baby Tales or am I the only one here to watch? Uh, no, I wasn't into A little bit. I never really, honestly, I was, even as a kid I was like, I'm not into 3D animated. Oh, I thought it was I'm I all so into, cool. I'm all into, except for Reboot. I will watch Reboot till oh, the day reboot. I die. <laughs> like I Reboot over there, let's go bang it right now. <laughs> uh, well, you have Reboot? Got the whole, just bought me the whole collection. I come from the net, through systems, peoples, and cities, to this place, mainframe. My format, guardian, to mend and defend, to defend my newfound friends, their hopes and dreams, to defend them from their enemies. The mainframe edition, it's like oh. all the things, all the movies, behind the scenes, all the episodes. I heard they're rebooting it. They are, man. Plan. It's so exciting. That's the biggest plan I've heard. <laughs> and it's yours. <sighs> humble okay. break. Hashtag humble break. Man, I remember um, like these cards and these TV shows. It all started with Pokemon. Did it start with Pokemon? Card Pokemon? Captor. Our love started with Pokemon. Card Captors. Card oh Captors. Apparently, okay, so uh, the, the Japanese version of Card Captor is apparently 10 times better than the English one. Why? Apparently, they, they, they totally changed the character for the English version. Adventure. Captors, a quest for all time. Man, I used to be like, no one likes this show, man, because it's a girl and I don't feel so lame watching it. Mm-hmm. Then I'm like talking to everyone nowadays and I'm like, Mike's like, yo, man, Car is sick. And I'm like, I used to watch it all the time. So good. Remember Beyblade? Well, I Dude, man, I don't remember Beyblade? Okay, so like six months ago, me and Kevin were trying to buy Beyblades off to Gigi. Oh. I, and then I go to Jess's grandma's house and she's like, I'm like, we're sitting there, me, Jess, and uh, Jess's brother, Brandon, and we're just sitting there and she's like, I bought some... Uh, they're, but they're too old for Shawnee, like uh, Jess's cousins, who are like a little bit, they're five and three. Do you guys want to play off of me and Brandon? And are like, what is this? She pulls out Beyblade Dome, like a stadium with oh, the green oh. Beyblades, you know, like, and then like the, the real metal ones. And we, we were just going crazy. We were like wow. sitting there for like oh, three hours, just wow. like, shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> just so fun. Wow. I remember that we got that, ba- that got banned from our school, the Beyblades. Yeah, especially the metal ones on the Spark and stuff that used to buy at the convenience store. And the, oh, the off the bow ones. Some shows I used to watch that some people don't re- remember. Like, I used to watch a show called Metabots, where, where it was like... Metabots! Metabots! This sounds familiar. This kid, this kid, they used to have, like, robots that would fight e- each other, and, like, it was, like, an anime, and the kid had, like, a yellow robot, and it was, like, this yay tall, and he would always, like, walk around with it, and they would fight other robots in, like, the street and stuff, just, like, randomly. I think I remember that, dude. That sounds like it'll sell a lot of toys. <clears throat> there was that. There was, like, all those cartoons, those random cartoons. Like, back when... Back Mighty when, Max. Back when cartoons were animated, like, remember animated Max? well. It, Mighty Max, Street Sharks, Mummies Alive. Yeah, Mummies oh. Alive. Oh, wow. Mighty the Mummies Alive. I don't know. I was just really attracted to anime. What about Bakugan? Bakugan? Uh, that was... Bakugan, Bakugan was kind of... I kind of stopped watching that kind of stuff. Oh, that's that's one show about four yeah. back on. That was kind of like I was kind of like Yu Gi Oh shooting marbles, yeah. And then Dragon Ball Z. And then Dragon Ball. I only watched Dragon Ball Z. I never got into like Dragon Ball GT and all that stuff. GT is even yeah. better than Z, man. Nah, dude. I watched like the first half of GT and I hated it. Yeah. But is there anything past GT now? I'm not sure, but Dragon Ball Z uh, still one of my favorites. I mean, still still a classic. Zoids. Zoids. I don't remember. Z. No. Oh, come on, that was great. Strike! Laser! Claw! Prepare for close range battle! Do your thing, Ligar! Strike! Laser! Claw! Oh, there's always no you Arthur. Remember? What about Arthur? Oh, that, that's not that's, that's not toy related, though. What do you mean, man? I used to have an Arthur stuffed animal. But, like, you won't buy Arthur things. And... Toy related? These, these TV shows the were so... Lego. That's true. But these TV shows were so, like, 
like based on you have to buy cards, you have to buy toys. Well, that that all sounds. Well, dude, if you want to go for more that sense, well, that sounds from Transformers, man. Was that Transformers? Transformers has to be like the first like toy franchise that became a popular TV and like multimedia franchise because that's true, yeah. it was like a cartoon specifically made to sell toys. That's true. That that blew up. And you ever seen that to the Transformers 1984 uh, animated movie? With like Orson uh, Orson Welles. Orson Welles, yeah, as uh what's his name? Unicron? No. The big guy that changed. You've never seen the 1984 movie? It's awesome, man. There's one random planet where like it's like a junkyard planet. It's mm -hmm. all like uh, garbage. And like these random like biker gang robot things come and like they're all like uh West Side Story. You know, you see West Side Story, they're like that. Yeah. And they sing and stuff. Like randomly, like in That's the middle of the movie. Insane. It's so it's such a strange, it's such an eighties movie. Do you guys remember like um I don't know if you ever watched Teletoon that much? Yeah. yeah Teletoon. Teletoon was like the Canadian Cyber Cartoon Network. Cyber I was just gonna say Cyber Six. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we it's so weird. So Hear me out, but like me and my brother used to be huge fans. This is not this is, this is what I'm talking about. Like a huge fans of Clone High, um, yeah, to the point where like yep. we we know like all the like almost everything. But anyway, the guys who made Clone High, Phil Lord and Chris Miller, mm -hmm. they went on. So like this is what I'm talking about. We started cartoon. These guys went on to make like Have the Chance of Meatballs, the anime movie. They wrote and directed that. They wrote and directed Twenty One Jump Street. If you ever seen Twenty One Jump Street. Uh, with like Jonah Hill and Shane Tatum, and they just wrote and directed the Lego Movie, man. They did the Lego Movie. Oh yeah, gosh. and these guys just came from like Clone High, so like, man, like you start a cartoon, and even if just like a few people like it. Yeah, my mind is. It's enough to so, like. See, that's why I want to do this cartoon. Diving board off into like the pool of possibilities. That's why I think this cartoon will will Whoa. make it. I don't know. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. It's a pod, 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 podcast. What are you doing, uh, Sal? Petting your kitty. Sal, my pal. So you guys make a cartoon. Trying to. Trying to? Like what? Like how That's you another know? dream. Another inspiration. Yes. Another yes. aspiration. Man, my brother. That's one of the reasons why I got you specifically brother. to help write with me. Brother. Because I knew your aspirations. <laughs> your I want to raise them to the top. Raise me. Raise us. Basically, the guy, the main guy is a cat. That people don't, de they don't see them as normal. They see them as weird. Uh, everybody in the world sees them as just messed up. So he goes to the doctor and he gets prescribed pills for them. Yeah, to help him. But you know, it's, it happens to a lot of people, man. Depression, anxiety, depression, stuff like that. It's such a, it's such a common thing. Diabetes, mm -hmm. man. Like before, diabetes wasn't even a thing. And then it became a thing because of our diet, the way that we just ravage our bodies. I know, I was born with it too. That's what I'm so. saying, but like, yeah, yeah. like hundreds of years ago, like 300 years ago, I don't, maybe that's not, I'm not sure about history that much, but I know but like, like what, what about a certain time now, that wasn't a thing. There was other problems, of course. You sure it wasn't a thing or just, there was like, there was like one in every some odd people <clears> and that person just lived and died, like. I think it's become more prevalent because of our diet. It's maybe it was always a thing, but it's become more of a thing. Like people can develop it now. Yeah. From eating, like, just because of like the the crap that we eat, mm -hmm. the garbage. I apologize for swearing. The garbage. That was a, that was a swear. Garbage. What's wrong? <coughs> yeah. Why is she meowing? So, anyways, car the cartoons about cats. It's a, sort of about a, a world of anim a anapomorphic animals and random anapomorphic. Th well, I'm going. I'm doing mostly animals mixed with humans, but I'm thinking random objects. Can you know like Aqua Teen Hunger Force type of style could be incorporated into the show? Nice. Um, basically, but you don't want to steal influences. What do you mean by Aqua Teen Hunger Force sort of thing? Like you know, there's just like it doesn't make sense. There's animals living with dinosaurs, living with flying, uh, with that uh, flying. Right, fries. but like there is a um, there is a somewhat of an emotional center, right? Like yeah, well obviously we gotta make people feel sympathy for the characters and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you gotta find an audience for really. this. Exactly, you know. To, because Time cartoons, time. like Adventure Time, like cartoons that are aimed at young audiences can still be fun and still be enjoyable. Yeah. It's just the humor that goes across with it. But, just, you know, animals are sort of like a minority as it regards to humans in this world. Like, yes, they can talk and stuff, but they're not regarded as, like, equals to humans. So, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. he's given pills to suppress his feline tendencies, but that's a human-mandated thing. Like, why should a cat have to know? Why should a cat have to hide being a cat? Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of world that we live in, you know? Like, people give us drugs to be like, you know, you don't feel the right way. 
we got you have to make you have to feel this way. Take this pill and eat food. And you want like a whole conspiracy thing, like yo man, the government's giving us drugs to turn us into zombies, man. Why is why is Cash human robots? They don't remember human robots. Very, yeah, but we've ri- we've written the intro. And we've pretty much written the first episode. I mean, pretty, yeah, pretty much first episode. So we're just gonna pretty much sounds like just a lame couple more answer. episodes down and then start some animation. To see how people, you know, take the intro, take the first episode. This guy's got his whole graphic design. Career taken off. Yeah, I'll take guys. Yeah, I I graduated from Boa College for graphic design. Yeah, so basically, I just do a lot of digital illustration. Um, But I have the whole Adobe Suite and very fluent in it. But uh, it's this guy. Let me just take a little side note. What this guy is complaining about his MacBook being slow all the time, right? Yeah, Uh, and why was and what was the reason? Did I tell you why? Yeah. Cause I, had, <laughs> <laughs> what was the reason? MacBook Pro. Too. Cause I had a two Adobe Suites on there. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> and how many gigs is one Adobe Suite? Like a hundred and thirty <laughs> gigs. There you go. Why is this going so slow, man? <laughs> I looked up people who actually know how to animate, and on Flash it looks awesome. So yeah. smooth and fluent. Nice. But yeah, so um, we're gonna go with that, and then maybe start a Kickstarter at some point and see how it goes from there. Sick. Lots of work to do still. It's a. Podcast. I have um, since we're talking about going back and reminiscing. Yes. Uh, I have a Bible verse here. It's Ecclesiastes seven ten, and it is never ask. Oh, why were things so much better than the old days? Because it's not an intelligent question. I uh, agree, because nostalgia because isn't can, necessarily a good thing. Necessarily, yeah, nostalgia is I'm just confused remembering the past. Focusing on the past is why. Yeah. Why would you spend so, so much time? So I guess time? focus on the present and move on towards the future, It's right? good to yeah, remember yeah. once in a while, you know, and look back. But it's not good to focus too much on it, because you can, you can get lost in the past. This is true, because right? yeah. it, it, actually, you know, I think in, you know, you have a point, because now that I think about it, in, in every way it can it's gonna make you every situation is gonna make you upset even if you say to yourself no it won't make me upset it will because you remember how good this time was in the past or how mm-hmm. how good this thing was that you had or whatever the case may be and then you're gonna say you know you're gonna leave feeling happy about it but then you're always gonna say but I wish I could go back mm-hmm. I wish I could do this wish I could do that yeah like Sean were you saying about the, the nostalgia thing I, like. I wish I could yeah. have my have my Pokemon cards that I gave away yeah. to my best friend or something. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking, like getting back into the whole. Like my Yu Gi Oh cards, I gave away all of, my Hollows to my best friend. But it's kind of and like it. it's fun because you like you remember the feeling of opening up a pack and not knowing what you're gonna get. It was like crack for a mind. It was like a childhood. It mind. still is. And that feeling of like. <laughs> Not knowing that like tension, that suspense, it's like such a strange, unique sensation that like doesn't come mm-hmm. often, right? Yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like watching a magic trick, you know? Like you're like, what is going on? Like you're just waiting for that uh, that thing, that spark, and it's, you know, it's fun to like try and recapture that. But I'm nervous about getting lost in it again. <laughs> yeah, so wasting too much money, and then because maybe nostalgia is like a drug, eh? you know? I think it can become an addiction. If it makes you happy. And you keep wanting to do it, and then you or it makes you forget. Good. A lot of additions make people forget, and that's why they like them. I was, I was actually while you guys were talking, I was actually reading the other the other Bible verses, and it's like, "Keep your temper under control. It's foolish to harbor a grudge." Smart. I never harbor grudges. Yeah, exactly. That's, that was that was the one. I find it hard sometimes not to harbor grudges. Yeah. But the thing is, it's like at some point you're gonna let it go. <laughs> at some <laughs> point, <laughs> shadow, shadow so, frozen, shadow frozen, shadow princess Anna. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, why let it go? Shadow I doubt the zine. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> shout out to shadows. Shouts yeah, out to. Shouts out John Travolta. Shouts out to hot sauce. Yeah, but sometimes you just gotta let it go, man. That's true. And that's why the song. That's why they wrote. They wrote the song. So it's like, why, why keep yes. feeling this way that's yeah. making you feel Dude, upset? Dude, you Disney. <laughs> and everything. <laughs> when you can just... Let it go. Let it go. That's nothing just like we're going to do right now the podcast. That's the end of the podcast. We're letting it go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was if fun. You want, if you want to subscribe to us on iTunes, 
Just search Sire Palette on iTunes, on iTunes and you'll find us. Okay, bye! No, you can follow. Have a good night! Mike, do you have a Twitter or anything? Or do you have any. Have a good night! I have a. No, I don't use Twitter. Um, nothing yet, but, uh, if you want, if you want to contact me, facebook.com slash Michael Um. Nice. We'll be posting Search up Michael, soon. Michael Patrick D'Anisio and send me a friend request if, uh, you want to get some t-shirts made. I guess we could start from there, exchange emails, and then go for it from there. Sean, do you have a Twitter? Yeah, I don't, I don't really go on Twitter that often. Um, I go on Instagram at Sean Dow Taylor, D-O-W-D-T-A-Y-L-O-R. Cool. Post yeah. videos, but we're okay. going really, to be really... Yeah, I got, a, I got an Instagram too. Uh, Didonak, D-I-D-D-O-K-N-A-C-K. Yeah, that would be Didonak, once again, D-I-D-D-O-K-N-A-C-K. Didonak. Call now. Didonak. It's one 939 Call in the next five minutes and over. <laughs> Anyway, that was a terrible podcast. So that was uh, that was all for nothing. So I just ruined the moment. Uh, hey, we were we were recording we're this entire time. Check that out. We are. We were. I'm kidding. Have a good day. podcast.